PMAC Movies back for a brand new PMAC Movies haul video. Um, haven't really gotten a ton in the last couple weeks, for me anyway, but um, I do have a stack here. Dollar Tree, a few from Goodwill, and a new release, which I very rarely get. Um, but it's not a movie. It's not a new release movie. Um, take a look in the description section of the video for ways that you can help support the channel and keep these videos coming i would appreciate it um youtube pretty much doesn't push or advertise my channel um at all anymore which is why i've gotten stuck at around 2100 subscribers for years now once i started talking about some um some deeper topics and some of my opinions um my my channel just like stopped growing so it's pretty blatantly obvious that that's why because before that it was steadily raising all the time but now nobody even like nobody knew is really going to get exposed to my video so that's just the way it is that's the way the world works you you have certain opinions and and you're cut off um but let's take a look at what i snagged here lately we'll take a look at the at the new one that i got i got the Batman, the complete series on Blu-ray. I don't believe that I had any of this on DVD. Um, and so far I've watched, I think I'm on to like season two. So I've watched, you know, a decent amount of episodes. It's, it's pretty decent. Um, it's not, they, they definitely on purpose made it different than the, um, the original animated series, you know, the the bad guys look different. The look of the, you know, the look of the show is different in general. Um, like the music and stuff, it has like a, a different tone. But it's a good one. I got this from Target. Buy two, get one. Um, and of course, Target gets me that. So they put it in this like cardboard, um, you know, tight cardboard thing. And what happened was... This got, like, pushed up like this, so then this just got, like, totally bent. Um, but, anywho, glad to have that show. I do like to get those uh, animated series, like the Superman, the Batman original, the and then, you know, the other ones. I have several of them, Justice League from Warner Archive and all those things. They tend to be pretty fun. Um, let's take a look at Dollar Tree. I got some... Blu-rays and some DVDs. What were some of the crown jewels that I got? A lot of the animated ones from Shout Factory weren't in the area here, but there were a few. Um, so I don't not, not, you know, the Blu-rays weren't necessarily too great, but I did get this uh, Digimon Adventure Tri Reunion. And then Coexistence. I think there is another one that people were finding too. And it's possible that I came across it. But I didn't feel like checking if it was one of these or not. So it's possible that I just missed the third one. Or I could possibly still find it in the area. Um, probably one of the better ones that they had here. Which I did find on DVD before. But uh, another Shout Studios here. Big Fish and Begonia on blu-ray this is a, a pretty cool one to find to be able to find like a good animated shout factory movie here for one dollar and 25 cents beer me um let's see what else another another um animated one from shout sound euphonium the movie didn't necessarily look that interesting to me but can't pass up some Shout Factory anime. And then I got um, Emile Hirsch in In Harm's Way, which is apparently supposed to be a pretty decent movie. This is another one from Shout Studios, 97 minutes from 2017. So this looked like a pretty, a pretty cool one to find there. This is a movie I believe I had and then sold, but for a buck 25, I'll get it again. It is I Kill Giants. And I believe this movie got pretty solid reviews and stuff. I honestly didn't care a ton for it. 
but I figured for a buck twenty-five, I might as well snag it up again and, and give it another chance. I think I sold it. Maybe I still have it. Who knows? I, th I think for I think I sold it, but who really keeps track of those things? Um, this one I already had, but I got it again for the code. It is Cult of Chucky here. I haven't seen a lot of the Chucky movies actually. I've seen. I don't know. I know I've seen. I've seen the first two, probably the first three. And I did see like the the remake one. I did get two copies, by the way, for the code. But um, I thought the the remake or the re whatever. Not really. I don't know if it's really a remake. It made it quite a bit different. But I enjoyed that one also. Um, a couple more Blu-rays. This is kind of a cool one. I only found one copy of this. It is Spree here on Blu-ray. The stores in my area that I checked really did not get a whole lot. They got three or four boxes. Um, a little slippy dippy. But yeah, so I found, I think I found one I Kill Giants. Um... Sound Euphonium, there might have only been one. So it was very, very minimal. It wasn't like they were getting a lot of copies of these. And then this one's probably horrible since it's um, Echo Bridge. But I did go ahead and snag up Synapse. Because it looked like kind of a sci-fi-ish movie. But yeah, it's, it's probably horrible. These Echo Bridge ones tend to be pretty bad. DVDs. They did have some interesting DVDs, actually. Um, from RLJ and Shout Factory. Um, this one, uh, out pretty recently, I feel like, and it actually looks pretty good. Another Shout Studios, The Blackout, Invasion Earth. You do want to check your DVDs on these, too, because it seems like, you know, you can get ones that have, like, uh, like, they're messed up on the inside of the disc from just, like, sitting around a lot and stuff. Um, this one looks fine. This, I mean, this one hasn't been out that long. So, The Blackout Invasion Earth. This is a, uh, I believe it's a Russian movie. Oh, you can't say that word anymore. You can't. You can't say that. How dare you? That's a, that's a Russian movie? Shouldn't be watching that shit. Because everything out of that country is pure evil brainwashing um up next we got an ifc midnight movie from again shout factory and it is uh radio flash this is from shout not a screen factory it's a shout factory so this one uh looks like an interesting po po post-apocalyptic movie um uh starring dominic monahan from lost and um Lord of the Rings. Will Patton's in this. And a Slippy. This one must not have been out too long ago either. 2019. 102 minutes. People stream, man. They don't want physical copies. They don't want physical copy. We got some more Shout and Scream. Um, this is Shout Studios. Witches in the Woods. This one, I wasn't really super intrigued by but i was like eh might as well snag it it's a scream factory i gotta check the discs on these after um this one uh joe masiello ended up finding this one on blu-ray for me so i'll probably just like exchange this out it's uh the rising hawk battle for the carpathians actually looks kind of decent robert patrick who the heck knows who any of those other people are in this? Um, 125 minutes from, I don't know, I don't see a year on there, but it's got to be pretty recent. So that was kind of a neat one, especially to be able to get the Blu-ray of it. Um, another Scream Factory. This one, I don't know, this one didn't really sound that great to me, but it's a Scream Factory um, so I'm going to snag it. I am fear here. Um, yeah, I, I read the synopsis and it didn't really sound that great. But you never know. It's a Scream Factory joint. And then we got some RLJ ones. We got 
the barge people it looks pretty horrible but it's got uh, also it has like raven banner on the back the raven banner movies tend to be pretty decent and i don't know if this is a shutter movie it has like the little shutter advertisement but it doesn't say it's a shutter movie i don't know um this one actually had like got real beat up but it was the only one i saw it is downrange. This one does say a Shutter exclusive. I did end up finding another copy at another store that was in better shape, but I had already bought this. So, and then this is one I was interested in on Blu-ray from Hamilton Book, but I didn't get it because it got horrible reviews. But it does have Maisie Williams from Game of Thrones. I had to snag the owners here on DVD, like I said, from RLJE Films. Snag that up for a buck twenty-five, um, and then I got some from Goodwill, which some of these are pretty like expensive online. I don't, you know, it looks like some of them might be out of print or just pricey. I don't know. Firstly, being this was actually still sealed and in mint condition before I opened it. Jane Seymour in East of Eden. Jane Seymour was was very attractive when she was younger. Um, an epic miniseries based on the American classic. Three episodes, 382 minutes from Acorn Media. Three dollars. Brand new. From Goodwill. Why does he do that? Um, and then I got one of my mom's favorites. I remember her watching this when I was little. Interesting that they put this on the card. It looks, it looks kind of interesting. For three dollars, I got the Thornbirds. 487-minute miniseries from Warner Brothers. What is she getting ready to do to him in that picture? Anyway, um, up next. This one looked like kind of a rare one. Like, you could barely find this online. Raise the Red Lantern, a film by Zhang Yimou. From 1991, 125 minutes. Um, yeah, I mean, you could get the DVD of this, but it, you couldn't really find this exact DVD. So it looks like this one might be worth around 20 bucks. I don't know. I paid two bucks for it. Glad to get it. And it looks like Universal did re-release this one, which I got the Universal Vault series of Resurrection, which this is like, um, you know, it's got like not a got like the blue on the bottom what, what do they call these things um kind of like a burn on demand sort of type of thing um, but they did it seemed like they did put out like a wide regular release of this um so i i didn't really look into it too much at the store that at that goodwill there's like there's no data reception so it's really like or the it very very faint so sometimes i'm able to pull stuff up and sometimes i'm not but i mean the movie sounded good so Hopefully this is a, a decent quality transfer and everything. It does say it's anamorphic widescreen, so hope for the best there. But that was that was easily the best haul I've had from Goodwill in a while. They just they haven't really had that much here recently. Uh, but ten dollars, ten dollars for that haul, very very nice. Very good, very delicious mango ketchup. Um, that's everything that I've gotten over the past few weeks. At least everything that I set aside for this video. Um, I'm thinking about making either just a talk video or a reviews video. I'm, I'm pondering about it. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I don't know. It's, it's hard to get motivated to do those kind of videos because it seems like it it uh i don't know people just get people don't like other people having strong opinions about things especially opinions that fall outside of the what they see as sane or not. oh you're allowed to think that you're not allowed to think that no you can't um that type of thinking doesn't benefit the system even though I've I've uh, been educated and worked in the system for many years and been successful with it, 
I know many ins and outs of the system that many people don't. I've worked in, you know, obviously I, I uh, grew up in the education system and got a college degree, but I've also worked in the medical system, the court systems, the, um, you know, seeing several portions of the legal system and the medical system and, you know, dealing with many people within it. And um, there's some other, oh, like, like, you know, social services system, you know, being able to, to deal with all those things and seeing how they operate and just seeing that the system is totally out to give people a hard time. It's not out to benefit people the way it's constructed. The people within the system have, you know, they can do a little bit within their scope, but overall, if they don't stick to what they're supposed to do, they're out. So, just within that structure, you, you can see it all the time the, and all those things. But I'm not being too specific. It's just amazing, though, that people will, oh, you, conspiracy, cons conspiracy guy. I see it firsthand. I see what I talk about. I see these things firsthand in my everyday life. I work 40 hours a week. I observe. I've been doing it for years and years. I've worked in the prison system. I've worked in all... But it's like people who just sit at home and play video games and, and do nothing will be like, No! 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 You don't know! Um, anywho, we'll finish up there and uh, I will see you guys. There's a lot of stuff I want to talk about. It's just pushing myself to actually do it. So it's just like, what's the point? So that's why I don't. But um, we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll make another video or whatever. We'll see. We'll see you next time on PMAC Movies.